we on the Oda Takeover podcast. It's about to be a blast. Let's get this shit popping. You know what I'm talking about? Let's have some fun. Let's spit some shit, spit some knowledge, and make sure that you are liking, commenting, and subscribing to this man right here because, you know, you want to be notified every time a podcast drops, which hopefully they drop every week. Make sure that notification bell is turned on because you need to be notified. Call this rapper on the rock, better say my name. Two step in the game, make me a big lane. Call me a Maltese H Y, can't make it rain. Getting sought by Tracy, but she ain't from the lane. Might see me in a Lambo, I go, but I'm on mode. Okay, so what we're gonna talk a little bit today is oh, we're trading. Just right in. Yeah, love why this. Not? No, 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 we in. Let's do it. Okay, trading and how um, you know getting into trading developed a lot more opportunity, and how to take that opportunity and obviously create businesses out of yeah. it, as we all have. So, when did you guys start your journey? Maybe we go with Q. Okay. I mean, it started? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just jump um, into things head first. <laughs> yeah, right? No, um, I started maybe like about like nine, almost nine years ago now. So, just getting introduced to every single person that's within a niche. You know, obviously back then it was very, very small, but it really was... Small. Um, really small. Yeah, but it was, it was people that pretty much had like, um, had brought a, a certain kind of value that, that, that you knew that they were going to be great for what they're focused on, you know. Um, but it all started with just everyone being first introduced to trading and then from that point like venturing off into other fields. Yeah. I started trading when I um when I was about seventeen. So about eleven years now. And started trading and just fell in love with the process and became so obsessed with it that it was just like this is what I want to do. Like I, I was honestly it was just because I was so fucking stubborn that I wasn't going to allow myself to fail. I lose. It took me five years. Yeah. To like make money in Forex. Yeah. It took me five years. So. So for for me, I literally started trading when we built Trade Locker. Yeah. Just to te <laughs> test it out. So not really that long. So like trading wouldn't be, let's say, the start of mm -hmm. my journey. But trading obviously gave us the opportunity to create um, websites for people who had trading academies. Mm -hmm. Then eventually we created mm -hmm. obviously back offices and now we obviously created Trade Locker. Yeah, so f for me, it wasn't actually trading, which is what yeah. started, let's say, the whole journey in, 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 in everything that we've built. Um, it's, it's trying to provide tools for traders, you know, to build community, to build product. Obviously, we've got, we've got a lot of things yeah. going on, but it, that was the start point for us. And yeah. then, so our journey, for example, along with you guys, has been trying to figure out what we can, what can we make. Yeah, like what kind of value trader, can we added? Yeah, so yeah. a trader can, can utilize it can learn from someone else like you guys. Um, and that's sort of the pinnacle, the start point for us. Yeah. I think the first thing we did was make, it was, it was an EA, someone was selling an EA and they wanted a website, yeah. a subscription website, literally just to, to sell the EA. So like it was a, a WordPress website, yeah. put it together and the person started obviously making yeah. sales. We took a commission a, a, on the actual sale and they were happy. And slowly, slowly we started looking at the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Yeah, because you know? um, I, I don't feel as if like, er, not everybody has to has to trade to even be a part of the industry. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you could actually still add value in some kind of way. Like you, you said like you guys were coding and, like, and creating other things to help benefit the, the um, traders, which is just as important, I feel like. Not everybody has to be on the charts to actually, you know, um, you know, to build that industry. Like there's people like you to actually add that long-term value platforms and that kind of thing. And even like coming out with, you know, Trade Locker now, like that's going to be, you know, a game changer to the yeah. entire industry itself. And at the end of the day, like, like I'm starting to realize like trading is a lot of uh, building communities. Um, yeah. You have to manage communities and build communities and, and make it fun. I, I, I love trading because it, when I first started trading, it was fun. It was challenging. But like there's been this big stigma that everyone needs to like quit their job from trading and only trade. Only trade, yeah. And like it, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and it's, it's, it's outlandish, actually, that... Yeah. People actually think that you only should trade. I know people that, um, like at top tier, we have a we have a guy, and like he's been funded with us for eighteen months now, and he literally makes like four to eight percent a month, and then just shuts everything off and walks away. He's not trying to completely do all this crazy crap, all this crazy stuff, and and flip accounts and make ridiculous amounts of money. He's just trying to do that, and like that's like his lane, you know. Me, you know, Q and I and all of us, we decided to go the route of trying to completely change and, and wreak, not, like, I want to say wreak havoc on the industry, but completely change the way it's, it's, you know, doing things. But not everyone wants to do that. And that's yeah. okay. And that's, yeah. like, that's, that's the best part about trading is that you can do whatever you want inside of 
inside yeah. of trading. And that's like what we're trying to really put out, push the message now is, you know, be part of the community, learn yeah. to trade, make connections. I know so many people that have built businesses outside of trading because they met someone through trading. Yeah. And like, it's like, that's what, that's what this is about. Like, we let, like, let's make trading great again. <laughs> yeah. And you not feeling I mean? like, so like boxed in because um, yeah. in the community itself, I feel like people always try to limit you. Like yeah. they just try to box you in. Like you're a trader, yeah. you're only supposed to trade, yeah. do nothing else as far as, any type of business like once you're off the charts like you're a whole person you know like you have other interests you have hobbies that you have all all these other things so i feel like also embracing that once you actually you know you understand trading itself but also like use that money to then invest into like those other hobbies that you're into and and it could be because we're in the spotlight so much that we see all the negativity as well yeah that we see all the negativity because we are such in the spotlight and that's I guess that just comes with the nature of the business one one thing that that i realized obviously i've always been behind the cameras, yeah. let's yeah. say, but now I'm a little bit out there. And um, what I realized with you guys is, is you really actually try push, let's say the community to be more of a community. Correct. Like I've seen you guys host some, some serious events. And um, you obviously d- do a lot with the cars. You obviously show, show a little bit of the travel, the lifestyle and stuff like that. You show obviously what's possible, but mm-hmm. it's not all about, like you said, posting profits and that's that. Yeah. Um, and it driving the community to be actually more like a community. Cause if you look at the definition of community, I didn't look at it, but it's definitely about people developing and growing together, right? Mm-hmm. It's not about, you know, trying to cut the other man down or whatever mm-hmm. like that. Yep. So r- realistically, that's, you know, what you guys are about and, and driving that and pushing that and making sure that, yeah, for example, I'm not a trader, but I build product. Mm-hmm. You guys you can trade. You know how to, to move that product yeah. top mm-hmm. tier and stuff like that. That's part of being in a community. It's value for value. Exactly. Biggest and, and, yeah. and that's, a, that's big. Like, like we're so focused heavily right now on changing the way the community looks at things because everyone was like too busy trying to compete right Mm -hmm. everyone was too busy trying to compete tear the other person down because in the competition realm they thought that they had to take a market share like when people don't realize like like we probably don't even touch one percent of forex the forex market definitely we don't even touch one percent like we're probably half a maybe maybe half a percent maybe a tenth of a one percent of the entire traders in the world so obviously there's money (laughs) there's a lot of money if you owned one percent of the forex like trading in the entire world you you would be you're a multi multi billionaire at that point right so like just go out there and create new networks create new communities and and share it and talk about it you don't have to like sit back and say i'm going to become super successful at trading you know even if you just want to make an extra hundred dollars a week Maybe learn, maybe learn a new skill set, mm-hmm. you know, create the pattern of, of something new and learning something new. Um, like there's, it's all about the uh, changing your scenery, changing what you're doing, um, routinal changes. It's really big in the entrepreneur mindset and it really helps people like doing little things is how you normally drive to work, switch it up for two weeks and drive a different way to work. I mean, and that, yeah, that triggers that's kind of like this morning, actually, like yeah. we could we, we could have came straight to the office, right? The normal route that we always take. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, let's drive through the, the city instead. Yep. You know, take a scenic route. Yeah. Yeah. Because so kind of like this. And we got the scooters yeah. and we went up and we drove through the, we drove in circles around. So you mean you got lost? Long route. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, lost. We knew, lost on we purpose. Exactly but we knew like, where we were. Though. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty cool. But it's so. cool. And like, you have to do those things to change your mind. And yeah. like, that's what we're trying. That's our biggest, like, you know, agenda right now inside of Forex is, and we also want to remove Forex. Yeah. We want to remove Forex from trading. Like as we far were, as like, stop saying the stop word saying Forex. Yeah, it's, 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 it's currency trading. It's currency trading. Currency trading. Okay. Because yeah. think about it. Stock trading. Yes. Right. Crypto trading. And then they say Forex. Yeah. You know, it's, it says nothing about trading. It's very boxed in. It's very, very boxed in. And then, then you have currency trader. It, it says like what you're, you're, you're you're, you're trading, you're t- trading currencies, you're trading stocks, you're trading cryptos, you know? The, the term Forex is so um, tainted based on, you know, like the MLMs and that kind of stuff and whatnot. So like um, to actually st- step away from that a little bit more, I feel like it gives a person a bit more comfort knowing that it's, um, it's being, you know, used differently now, you know? Yeah. And let's make, it a re- let's make it a real, like, like this is like a real, uh, so, like something you have to learn. Yeah. Like this is something you actually have to learn. Like, like it takes some people a long time. People go to school to go train on Wall Street. Yeah. Like, like why, why people, you know, so the, the accessibility made it so accessible, but like it also hurt the industry too. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of, uh, when you, when you, when you sell it, when you give such a tool to a lot of people, mm-hmm. there is obviously then people that try to take advantage of, of, of why do you of, think though? You know, fast money, people, mm-hmm. people out there want I mean, fast money and it's obviously not good. Fast mm-hmm. money's never, good 
you yeah. know, but, there's always some something with yeah. fast money. And, and you know, I, I sit back and like now it's easier for all of us to sit back on this side of the table talking about like how like, you know, you wouldn't do that. Like you like none of us would change our morals. None of us would change, you know, do something that we don't want to do for a dollar. Like that just doesn't go with what we do. Yeah. And how we do things, but you know, and a lot of people in a lot of different situations, trying to make money, like they might not realize they're doing wrong or think they're doing wrong because they're just really trying to help or educate other people. And it could turn out to be a scam. I said all the time, like I know a lot of traders that are not good at trading, but they're really good teachers. Like yeah. they're really good at teaching people how to trade, but they're not a successful trader themselves. And people will come to me and they're like, Well, how is that even right if they can't successfully trade? And I'm like, well, do you think, like, do you think Michael Jordan is going to teach people how to play basketball? Is, is he a head coach? No. But, I, but his coach, like, was he one of the best basketball players of all time? Yeah. No. Michael mm -hmm. Jordan was. There's sometimes there's people that can do both. And then sometimes there's people in life that are just meant to be coaches. And then there's sometimes there are people, people in life that are meant to be players. Remember, college professors, a lot of them don't have yeah. business. Like, a business professor doesn't have a business. But they know how to teach a business. Yeah. Uh, well, or how to actually the explain the how fundamentals. to grow business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, is just as valuable. Yeah. Which, is, which, which is just as valuable. So at the same time, you can't really like um, talk down on a person that doesn't know like, like how to do that other part of it, but they know how to teach it, which is mm -hmm. just as valuable. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, just uh, looping back just to, to uh, community and, and empowering the community, like obviously on, on Funder Pro and Trade Locker and Top Tier, we mm -hmm. all have discords and there's a lot mm -hmm. of people in there, they're chatting, yeah. they're helping each other out automatically. Um, I've noticed you know, on, on these platforms like Discord, that the people there, they tend to, if they're on it, they're interested in the product. They're correct, interested correct, in correct. the growth of that product. They're interested in the in innovation of that product and they help people out. So someone has a problem, nobody m maybe would answer, let's say fast enough, but one of the other community members answers. And I think if there was a way to replicate that everywhere, and I think maybe Kia, what you're doing, like with the lifestyle brand as well, with the clothing and stuff like that, and then those events that you're doing, you're obviously bringing that bringing online together. stuff to an actual physical uh, point of interest. I think that more of that, if if everybody did that, Agreed. I think it would really change this. Um, what would you say? Like just that mindset that I got to be better than you. Yeah. You got to be better than me. This type yeah. of stuff, you know. And, and realizing it's, it's, it's never a, com a, it's a competition thing. Literally, it's what I was enough about money to say. out here for every single person, mm -hmm. but also like we all have the same goal in mind. You know, so the fact that, um, you know, a lot of the industry also has like uh, a stigma about it, like how Anthony said that it's more like a tear down thing. Like, I'm going to tear this person down to get bigger. No, listen, like me Fuck and Anthony that. have always been, we speak positivity. We try to show that every single time. But also like whenever we do events, it's all love. It's yeah. always love. It's yeah. never just trying to bash a person, that kind of thing. And it's like we're sitting here right now, like like you, you guys have Funder Pro, we have Top Tier. Like we are... I mean, at the end of the day, we're direct competition, but there is no competition. It's friendly competition. It's friendly competition. I want to see you grow, and you want to see us grow. Well, it's exactly. also because, like, I believe the entire world needs competition, the right competition. Because if you guys do something that's innovative, it's going to make us have to be more innovative in order to keep growing. And, like, there is no ceiling. Like, you know, that's mm -hmm. the one thing people need to realize. There is no ceiling. So just because someone does something differently than you, use that as motivation in order to take it and grow with it as well. So, like, like we're not, like, you know, we're not sitting here in competition. We're sitting here like, how can we both grow our companies? Yes. So simultaneously at the same time with each other. I that's good, that's what it is. I have a good example of that, right? Because like when I used to run track, um, they always said that you couldn't get faster just by running by, by yourself. Always try to, to race a person that's faster than you. So you you strive to get faster. Yeah. So if if, if a company's better, you're gonna want to strive to get fast or like better than that company mm -hmm. in some kind of way. But that's gonna also help you innovate more. To mm -hmm. help grow your company, so like all companies are growing, but at the end of the day, like if if you're just like that best company and and, and you have nothing to look forward to, then how can you grow? And and, and in know? our industry, like I'm like, this is gonna I'm not like dropping names or like anything bad, but like I mean, look at look at FTMO. Like everyone knows that in the prop firm space, FTMO has been around the longest, has been the strongest, and has been the best. And we're all now coming up with ways of being creative to compete against them. In a yeah. good, positive way. And they're actually now, we've realized that since we came out, they're having <clears> to change their business model. For the longest time, they never had to change. There was no competition. Yeah, but they stayed the same. Yeah, but that's... that's and that's great. It's, it's great. great. That's, like, that is natural evolution. I know. Well, whether, I you know if, you, if you walk just down the street here, you're going to go from cafe to cafe mm -hmm. to cafe. They're all doing something pretty mm -hmm. similar. And what a little bit different. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. each has their own little spin, mm -hmm. you know? 
Um, and that's, that's as well, that's just all marketing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the base product is the same. Mm -hmm. But how you pitch it, some of the rules, all of these different things, creates that little bit of difference, Yeah, you know? It's epic. It's, it's really cool. This, this space is so big. And like, that's why like our, like, you know, our plan right now is that the global, to go, glo go, go, not just be nationwide, be worldwide. Yeah. And that's what yeah. we're really excited to see how we can go into that space. Yeah, yeah. and I noticed is just cool. on that, like you guys have this, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, amazing ability to connect. Like I yeah. think how many, how many times I message <laughs> someone and I get ghosted and then, you know, <laughs> I said, hey, chance, chance a message to him. And it's like, okay, cool. Immediate response, meeting in two hours. Yeah. You know? I, I think it's because um, I, like we've been around the industry for so long. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, like we seen companies come, companies go, but pretty much we were there to witness everything. And every single conversation, like even like back then up until now, like we're part of that conversation in some kind of way based on, you know, like FTMO. FTMO has been around for that long. So they're going to be a part of the conversation mm -hmm. just na naturally because they've been around the longest. I mean, yeah. Anthony, like, we've been around a good amount of time, so, like, we're part of those conversations, which allows us to step into different um, parts of the industry, you know? It, yeah. it, it could be the tr trading side, it could be um, a platform side, it could be so many other ways on how we could actually still, you know, be a part of that, that um, conversation. And I, and I also think that, you know, a lot of people, we've seen a lot of people come up really fast and then drop really fast. We've kind of just been, every single year, passionate about it. Passionate about it. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're, that, oh, we're even so like back passionate then, about this industry. Even like back then, I feel like we weren't really rushing the process because we were passionate about mm -hmm. the craft. So like, well, and and we still are, but we never rushed it. We weren't rushed to, in a rush to make money and that kind of thing because we were actually passionate about the actual skill set. Eventually, it went on to businesses and that kind of stuff, of course. Yeah, but being passionate about the craft is the most important thing because that allows you to actually go through all those years of making slow money and that kind of thing, and then eventually getting into those, yeah, those that's, money. that's that's sustainability correct so and, like you, in the you, community you, yeah you came you came out of it with the whole point to have sustainable businesses yes. something that will 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 build will compound and grow and grow and grow mm -hmm. um yeah well, <clears throat> where where do you, where do you think uh, things are going next you know because it's it's there's a lot of there's a lot more there's a, a lot more happening a isn't there i have a theory what i have a it? theory um i think Forex, the Forex side that we have and we do mm -hmm. is, is going to, it's been dying off a little bit. It's not, it's not growing like it was. It's still growing obviously massively, but like we were seeing massive growth in the inside of the trader space of like how much money was getting influx into the Forex market. And to now it's where it's not as much as it was. I truly, truly, truly believe you're gonna start seeing a shift to older, more mature investors I'm having to be more mature and I truly think you're going to see the future side to start really climb mm -hmm. um, because Forex, like our Forex, our currency trading, the way we trade and stuff like that is a, has a very high lucrative, like you can make crazy returns really, really fast. The future side is a little like, I'm not going to say it's safer, but it's a little more um, structured. Stru yeah, yeah. that's that structured. Is the way, I guess, the best way to put it. And I truly believe that, that, that we're going to start seeing that side of the industry start to grow more and more and more, as well as the stocks and are, stuff. Are we going to see yeah. a, 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 a product coming out soon here? <laughs> no, yes. it's definitely yes. shifting, but people are being a, a bit more open to other markets yes. yeah. versus um, all right, initially all currencies. No one was really trading indexes much, um, cryptos much. Eventually, a lot of people were trading cryptos. A lot of people were, were trading indexes. A lot of people were, were, were trading commodities, all these other things. And now I feel like futures are going to be a bit more popular mm -hmm. um, in the next coming years and that kind of thing based on it not being touched upon too much yes. in the industry. Do you think it's because, like you said, you've been at this 15 plus years, you've been at it 10 years. Well, no, no, no. I, I said nine years. Nine, nine years? Nine. Did you say 10? Nine. I'm, I'm, I'm at 11. Myself. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's say nine, 10 years. Uh, those people that were with you then, they're obviously also older. older. Mm -hmm. And yeah, maybe they're, they're, you know, they're hearing different things. They're, they're, they're talking to different people. You know, they've gone from working, they've gone from staying at home, they've gone, bought their houses, all these different things. So maybe those people as well. Mm -hmm. Also growing as well. Yeah, like, and they're, all, they're looking for something else to, to, uh, we're to all get into. We're growing at the same time. Yep. Like that, that's the biggest thing. It's not like, you know, one person is staying young. No, like we're all literally growing at the same exact time because we're all on the same journey. You know, obviously, you know, there's a person that's leading, but at the same time, like as I'm leading, I'm also introducing mm -hmm. new products, new um, ways on how to trade, what to trade, and that kind of thing as well. So like they're also 
being introduced to all these new assets and new products as well at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And 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 trading as a whole, like I remember when I first started trading, like um, no one even knew about indexes. I mean, they knew about it, obviously they knew about it, but like in the public eye, no I, one was trading indexes. I did not no know one, about it until yeah. like five, like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. and then and crazy. then it, when it started blowing up is when when you were able to make crazy crazy returns, because you were very limited on like lot size and stuff like that on leverage and on yeah. leverage on brokers and stuff. And so if you wanted to make more money, same skill set applies. Like I I truly believe. Once you know how to trade anything, once you can read a chart, you can read what the housing market's going to do. Yep. You can read what the stock market's going to do. Everything. You can read what corn is going to do, coffee's going to do. You can read Give me a charts. chart and that's it. That's all you need. <laughs> it all trades the same. But how can you make more money doing the same exact thing? And mm -hmm. that's with more risk diversification, having other incomes. And that's like one thing that as I've been, I would say has been allowed us to be able to place these big trades because we're emotionless to the money now. So we're able to sit back and you're able to place, you know, four to 10 standards on us 30, mm -hmm. able to make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in a day. I was able to place, you know, 500 standards, a thousand standards on, you know, regular currency pairs. Yeah. I was able to do that because of the risk, the risk diversification that we have. And that's a big thing. That's why I'm a very big believer in other incomes mm -hmm. as well. And yeah. trading. You have to like to stay the same the entire time for like years and years and years and years, I feel like you're doing yourself injustice because you have so many other resources that, that you come across the entire time. So like why not take advantage of, you know, that extra income to actually make more income and actually really, really pump up your portfolio. Cool, cool. So uh, we, we obviously uh, have Trade Locker now. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mentioned to, to to get, you want to be given the charts, so now you have Trade Locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, and uh, I don't know if you've taken a look um, at the the roadmap and um, we have a really really really, really deep roadmap and mm -hmm. um, and obviously you guys gave us a really really solid feedback as well and um, but like things like the the social uh, streaming so like if you want to do live education you could do that using trade locker mm -hmm. if you want to do even call in signals yeah we're building out a feature set that yeah. you can one, one of a few ways yeah. but you can do, do a trade like right now live mm -hmm. send it to all of your audience whoever's whoever's on that live mm -hmm. or some notifications as well to their devices because we yeah. got the app and you have also mentioned like um like your trading courses yes also you could actually mm -hmm. put, put it put an entire trading course on on the platform and yeah and be a instructor on that platform as well yeah so we have yeah. trade lock trade locker academy and mm -hmm. um, and the goal there is for you know you guys mm -hmm. you sign up yeah put up your course Put all of your I sign up, he sign up, you sign up, you anybody, sign up, like any, anybody. Anybody, uh, yeah. as, as long as, okay, we're not, you know, I'm not gonna sign up and teach you how to trade <laughs> because, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen yeah. To, yeah. to these educators. But you sign up, set, set up uh, your, your course on whatever you'd like to do. So you said that you do a lot of US 30, mm -hmm. that could be your thing. You Got know, it. so someone's interested in, in trading US 30 and using Trade Locker, obviously, um, you can, you know, show them how to do that, mm -hmm. how to get in, how to get out, how to understand that risk management, how to understand, obviously, how the product looks like. Mm -hmm. how to safely trade all these different things um, and that could be your journey yeah. on uh, trade lock academy yeah. and then you can link to all of your products from there yeah. so it's completely you know we don't mind trade locker doesn't mind it's 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 your space for your community to, to start using trade locker for whatever yeah. product you have i think yeah, because um the um, cool thing about trade locker is that like people once thought that it was just a trading platform mm -hmm. it's like way more than that it's yeah a social platform it's like all these other things that pretty much we were using in like 10 different platforms just now at one space, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. It's great. I think building another thing that I would think would be really cool to add would be a um, social tracker that can be publicized if as people as, want to. As far as what? Like um, maybe not a social tracker, as like a, a trading tracker, almost like a MyFX book. Like, like, like a journal. Like, a, essentially a journal. like, yeah. like yeah. a MyFX book yeah, yeah. so people can see and validate because like i mean what happens if the community gets you know which which we know it will the community of trade locker will get to you know 100 250 250 maybe hopefully even in the, in the millions of people mm -hmm. having a verifiable track record that can prove that someone's trading is really this level Correct. they would come to trade locker and get so much business just because you can say look guys i've been trading on trade locker for let's say six months i started with fifty thousand dollars i've made five percent a month every single month I yeah. compounded the money. I've done it. This is it, and that would be a really cool feature. So now they start getting a lot of um, feedback traction. and traction from the community that we're all going to build together. You know, we do have we do have a trading journal in the the roadmap. Yeah, I don't know how high the priority is, but it yeah. makes a lot of sense. Obviously, give that 
that validation and that proof. Mm -hmm. um, but like, you know, it, it, it's probably, you know, something to connect with at some point. Mm -hmm. When? I don't, know, I don't think it's, let's say, super soon. Yeah, no. Because we're working, on, obviously, uh, on, on... More important things. Yeah, yes. You know, of it. Yeah, other things. Like, right now, it, if I was to do a trade, I'd go to Trade Locker. But I'd go to Trading View first. I'd look at a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. I might have some type of, of script or, or algorithm running that's sort of pointing some things out. So one thing at Trade Locker, what we're, what we're trying to do is we're, we're creating, uh, well, an AI and a program interface so that you can actually create your own indicators and scripts mm -hmm. um, in real time and do back testing and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then apply them to whatever, whatever pair you want. All on the one platform. All in one. Yeah. The end goal right. is that you open up your app or you open up your desktop probably should be on desktop for something this big That'd be, exactly. mm -hmm. um, see everything. and you see everything you know so you're not going to these four or five different products yeah. which we all know that's what's happening you know you're doing your chart in there but you're actually doing your execution over here that's going to hopefully you know w if you use trade locker you don't have to do that mm -hmm. so you just focus on the actual trade get in and out and um, the way you want and you can actually you know if if, if you want to create a, a robot or or an indicator and sell it you know like lux algo for example yeah, yeah? They have an algorithm and an indicator on on TradingView. Yeah. They're selling for like nine hundred dollars. Insane. Yeah. Insane. You could do that on Trade Locker now, In, you know, with this. So make like code the EA, sell the EA, all on that one all, platform. All in the platform. Yeah. Love and it, and love so it. you That's you epic. as the coder monetize. The traders then benefit because they get be, you know better understanding about the market, mm -hmm. um, and so everybody's winning. Yeah. You know. So I you like know. Okay, so like the, the um, I'm actually marketing people chart right now on, on Trade Locker. Do, do yeah. the people, all right, so like, are is Trade Locker making money on the EA side? It, we don't know if we're going to do any commission structure. Yeah, probably not because yeah. we're trying to develop the community. Correct. So like, for example, we we, we have Trade Locker Labs, yeah. um, which is a it's a million dollar fund. So people like the, these companies can come to us. They'll obviously needs to understand what what we're coding in, but it's it's, it's basically Python based. Um, so yeah, they can come and we'll pay them to write that indicator or rewrite it so that it will work on Trade Locker. Got it. And we'll pay for that. And then if, when they sell it and when they monetize, we, we're thinking maybe the first one to 2,000 coders will never charge them for. Yeah. But people after will probably end up taking a commission. Yeah, but the like, first few, yeah. maybe 2,000, we won't um, do a cost. A lot of um, like um, indicators based on even like medicals yeah. and that kind of stuff, like their MQ4 format, EXE format and everything. So like they all have to rewrite that entire thing to actually work on Trade Locker. Yeah, but if you got if you got paid to rewrite it, would you mind? Of course. Like, no, yeah, of course not? you would. Yeah. Like, I, I think there's a lot of benefits too. Cause like there's um there's a lot of uh, actually tools in Trading View that people have used um to build certain algorithms inside of Trading View, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, to be honest with you, um the reason that I would say a lot of people still use MT four over MT five is because how hard it has been in order for them to change their code for algorithms and custom EAs and stuff like that. Yeah. It's because Humble. they're all encrypted mm -hmm. and the decryption is, is burnt. You can't decrypt these files. So yeah. that, that's why. The, yeah. So the, the excuse is it's very hard to reprogram it. More than likely, it's because you never programmed it in the first place. Yeah. You bought it and yeah. you can't decode it. Got it. That's yeah. the actual thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in TreyLocker, all of those, those algorithms and all of those, let's say, base structures, they're all available mm -hmm. so we can leverage the the strength of all of these uh, um you know like the machine learning algorithm on trading view mm -hmm. we can use that mm -hmm. i'll get you know i'll get my ea switched over and do i got them starting to work yeah. on it submit submit a proposal to, to trade like our labs <laughs> <laughs> where, do, where do i do so, that where's the where's the where can i get the can i get the link we, we, <laughs> we'll, we'll bring we'll bring luca in in a minute <laughs> bring luca in in a minute no we're um but like because my algorithm has been running for like three years right now and it's doing pretty solid so. You, you can move, move it over, back test, obviously mm -hmm. verify that it would have been, would have been good, mm -hmm. uh, and put it live. I love it. So, yeah. what's what's next? What's next <coughs> for what's next for us in this industry besides trade locker? What what, do you, what are we? What are we doing? We're we going. Where are we going with this? I think it's more just trade locker is a, a huge project. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's something that you know we shouldn't have to stress. What's what's next? Like tra trade locker's next. You know. Yeah. The yeah, like next portion it. of Trade Locker is next. So it's like there's so many avenues that we could actually, you know, venture off in like when it comes to Trade Locker. So like it's going to be a years and years and years type of a project. So well, it's going to be a that's forever be the, project. Focus on it's a forever yeah, project. No, it's, yeah. it's, it, it, it has huge, huge potential. Correct. Huge potential. So 
like we're getting like pretty much every prop right now they want trade locker because it's another avenue it's 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 another offering it's another it's a product yeah people it's like a, options so yeah exactly people like options you know mm-hmm. uh, something that they want and you're also not handicapped i mean like look what happened to us <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know well, that's gonna be solved <laughs> everything gets <laughs> solved just, it, it is it is it just takes time, time. But, but it's just like you know like it, that took a you know i'm not gonna say it took a hit but it took a hit on our business and because of what happened and there was no we had no control yeah no but the um, good thing about it is that like we we know that these kind of things are possible so we had trade locker like in, in the back end ready. ready just in case anything ever happened mm-hmm. you know it's like a just in case thing and, and it, and it, and it helped happen. and it, it did happen, happen. and yeah. you know because we saw what was coming in the industry and we, we, we still see what's happening in the industry so it's going to be interesting mm-hmm. to see you know, i think uh, you know you're very prepared like we're prepared mm-hmm. you're prepared because mm-hmm. of that yeah. you're prepared yourself you're diversified you're also, you know, something like this happens, happens to us all the time. Get pushed back one step, but you realize, okay, fine. Let's figure it out yeah. and move forward. Yeah. You don't the, start looking back at it and then- That's entrepreneurship in a nutshell the, uh, right Yeah, there. exactly. Like the most important thing is that like we're open to going through it. You yeah. know? A lot of people don't start businesses or, or even try to venture off into new things because- They're um, afraid. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're afraid. Listen, like we failed a thousand times and I don't care to fail again. You know, I'm pretty, knowing that there is going to be, we're going to fail yeah. again. We're going to fail and that's, again. And that's like, perfectly we know fine. It. And we it's know perfectly it. fine. There's going to be certain things in life that we fail at, and that's cool with it. But if you know, if you're, if you're not, if you're not crazy enough to believe that you can go out and do something spectacular, then why even start? Why exactly. even start? Like we're here, we're here to keep going and transitioning and and building and working. You know, even working with you guys and Trade Locker and stuff like that. Like it's this is this is the move. Yeah, this is it. Okay, different subject. Long term player. Different Long-term subject. Player. Yeah. <laughs> What's your plans for the summer? Oh, <laughs> uh, Croatia. We're going to Cro- Croatia Yacht Week. Yep, Yacht yeah. Week, Croatia. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really know my plans because you planned it all. You planned <laughs> oh, it all for me. Yeah, no, so we, we let got, me ask you. We got a few trips. What's oh, your What's my plan? <laughs> oh, we go here. We go to Milan. We go Milan, to Croatia. Shopping. shopping. Gotta Croatia. go to Switzerland. Yeah. You need to go to Germany. Yep. Gotta go to the UK. Then mm. you gotta go home. Yeah. And then I gotta go home. Then you gotta go home. He's kicking so me. He's kicking it, me out. It's gonna be about maybe like <laughs> what, like six different out. countries in the next like maybe. Oh, yeah, no, like, hope, like hopefully more than that. Yeah, yeah like we, that. we've been we've been building a lot of um, connections together, and mm-hmm. uh, we're just gonna hit all those spots, meet up with all those people, and um, solidify those those new those Locking new in. business yeah. ventures, and mm-hmm. um, which obviously people will start to realize what they are mm-hmm. in the next <laughs> couple of months. Yeah. yeah, we got like what 10, 10 projects rolling out, yeah. all all based in Europe. So that's uh, it's been amazing. Love it. So yeah, we gotta go meet those people, shake some hands. Yep, we gotta go. go. I want. I don't. If it wasn't so far, I'd be ready to go. But like South Africa and Australia, but it's so far away. Yeah, maybe we can meet in the middle somehow. Maybe or, or maybe we just we just say, hey, come out here, guys. Come out here, <laughs> come out here. Come out yeah. here guys. Um, but yeah, no. So like, I mean, obviously we got we got a lot of places to check out and have a lot of fun and a lot of work and you know. But we we intermingle we intermix the both of them. I feel like you have to work is fun for us. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I love what we do. You know, me too. Because I'm I thought about it the other coffee. day. Like I was um coming here, and I'm like, damn. Like, if a, if a person's having fun 24 seven, like I'm, I mean, I, I might get exhausted of having too much fun. Like I need to work. I need to do something to actually add m- more value to the industry that we're a part of in some kind of way. Like it can't just be fun 24 seven. Yeah. yeah. Well. A part of the um, work is pretty fun. <laughs> no, 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 it's fun. <laughs> but like, I love the aspect of building a business. It's actually I love one the th- aspect of you know. That's one of the things like I'm excited about being, you know, here for some time is because I'm going to be able to like sit down and and, like I got to finish. I got to finish my my video. (laughs) I got to finish my damn video. I got to finish all kinds of stuff that I just haven't had time to finish. So being in a completely different time zone, I don't get to I don't get to experience all the bullshit. You know, like what Q there. said, you got he's six hours. He's had time to finish. But I've, I've had time to finish. But do, put I him do. in an environment that you have to just sit down and work. Yep. Yes. Let's get he him in his that. computer. Like if I have <laughs> that, that, then like get literally give me one week and I could be done with everything. Yeah. Okay. So by Friday. It's yeah. possible. It's yeah. possible. I really. We is. have we have the recording uh, studios downstairs for. For video content and for for education content, there's as well. no excuse. Let's go so check it out. Really no excuse. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah. We gotta go check it out. And you said that all you need is a computer, so that's down there that's waiting for you. I need I, I need the computer. Yeah. It's got a trade locker on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. We call that lunch. Hold on, and hold on. Oh, the um, biggest thing is right. I, I remember like um, an issue like 
like when it came down to platforms like a long time ago, you know, like people were only able to actually get it on Windows and, and then eventually on Mac from emulators and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There's not that issue on Trey Locker, correct? No, there's Perfect. no issue, no. As so, far as so it could be on we, Windows, it could be on Mac, yeah, it could so be on Linux. Obviously, whatever, let's say you're on desktop, mm -hmm. it's obviously browser dependent. Correct. So that's for now. Mm -hmm. Then we have obviously the two mobile apps, mm -hmm. obviously, and, and the, the iOS app, so it's mm -hmm. iPad as well. The next version will be download proper download for Mac. Correct. So, and a proper download for Windows. Windows. Perfect. So, you know, we started where we needed to start. We needed to get the product working. We needed to get it available uh, across browsers. And mm -hmm. um, now we obviously have the devices. We're going to go a layer above because as you said, like there is markets that we're going into where we have to think about bandwidth. We have mm -hmm. to think about connectivity, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so then we're looking at, at lighter versions. So if you're in a, a geo that might, you know, not have uh. 5G, we need to make sure that the app can also process. Yeah, for example, kind of like maybe like a like not a dumped down version, but a more simple. No, no, the same version, just it's lighter. Mm -hmm. So these these are the next steps that we will have to take. It's not yeah. taking so much bandwidth and everything to even exactly, yeah. we're in a platform. Yeah. yeah. So that. these things are, are coming. And these are things we're thinking about. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think about these things. Yeah. We're, we are thinking about it actively, because it, actively it, it, progressing. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I've I've been in certain countries, um, and I try to you know start up MT4 and that kind of thing. And like it'll it'll just load the entire time. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. Searching, searching, yeah, searching for hours. Different apps are different apps are are, are heavy, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't do anything about it. But right. like for example, so we have on top of all of the technology, we have Trader API, which mm -hmm. we developed. Mm -hmm. And what it is is we we've, we've consumed everybody's API. So MetaTrader API, TradeLocker API, uh, CTrader API, Match to Trade API, probably a couple of other ones. And um, we're we're offering that API to people who want to make, let's say for example. You ha you're in a zone which you can't access trade locker, mm -hmm. but via Telegram you can do an actual trade because mm. you can leverage the a the API. So we you can create a Telegram bot and trade from your phone on your account on trade locker, for example, through we Telegram. Yes. So we built that API so that people who have at least an SMS platform or Telegram, for example, can still continue. Yeah. You know. So we're looking at the bigger picture, not just the product, the terminal or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're looking at all the other Accessibility touch points. In, in all cases. Yeah, like imagine you're in a zone, you can't deposit. You know, what happens if you could do that? You, you, so you do have a crypto wallet, you do have a trade locker account, mm -hmm. use a robot yeah. via API yeah. to put that money there, instantly in the account. Without AI. having to go on the actual platform. And not even going into the CRM of the brand. Mm. That's cool. Love it. Epic, no? That's, yeah. yeah, epic. So we're thinking it. about this, because yeah. if you go to a geo, you mentioned, like say for example, South Africa or certain, certain countries mm -hmm. in Africa, for example, it's mobile payments, it's SMS. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that we're prepared for that. You know, Epic. so we're thinking about Global. these things. Yep. Global. Global takeover. That's what it Love is. It. Hey, Nailas, but please, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and have that notification bell turned on because you need to be notified because we're going to be dropping these all the time. Okay. <laughs>